The following instructional video details the basic steps for entering math problems and computing answers in Maple. During the course of this video, dialog boxes will appear with comments to help guide the lesson. In Maple, mathematical expressions can be composed using various methods. If you type in 2x, Maple understands implicit multiplication between a number and a variable, so you don't need to use a multiplication sign. You can also use a space between operands to denote multiplication, or you can always use the multiplication symbol entered with an asterisk. To enter a division sign, press the forward slash. The right arrow key allows you to return to the baseline. As you can see, Maple has automatically formatted the fraction in 2D math. To evaluate the fraction in line, press Control and Equals together. By default, Maple gives you an exact answer. In this case, the fraction result of 29 over 35x. To display an approximate numerical result, right-click on the result. This displays the context-sensitive menu which lists appropriate mathematical operations for our expression. You can choose to approximate our answer to a certain number of digits, say 5. Now let's enter a more complicated expression. Let's enter the square root of x squared plus pi. To enter the square root, you can use the expression palette. Found on the left side of the window, these palettes are used to quickly enter symbols and expressions. They can be expanded by clicking on the triangle next to the palette's name. Click the square root template. Now type in X. Note that Maple is case sensitive, so capital X is different than lowercase x. To insert the exponent, press the caret button, which is entered by pressing shift and six on most keyboards. To exit the exponent and return to the baseline, press the right arrow key. To enter the symbol for pi, you can use the palettes again, or you can use symbol completion. First type in the name, and press control space. This brings up Maple's symbol completion menu, which gives you a list of possible choices. You want the constant value, so choose the first option. Now let's find its derivative. Again, you can use the right-click context-sensitive menu, choose differentiate, and then the variable to differentiate with respect to. In this case, you only have one option, x. Mathematical operations performed using the context-sensitive menu are automatically documented, making it easier to understand your work later on. Maple recognizes natural math notation, such as prime notation, to indicate a derivative. Enter the second order differential equation, 2y double prime plus 4y prime minus 3y equals 0. Use the context sensitive menu and choose solve DE for y of x. Notice that Maple knew y prime meant the derivative of y with respect to x and adjusted the context menu accordingly.